She's right now practicing. Do you know that? She's in Pennsylvania, and she's practicing for the debate. She's locked herself in a room. She's got a lot to learn. She's locked herself <laughs> in a room, and they have one problem. You know what the problem is? They have MAGA outside screaming, we love Trump, we love Trump, we love Trump, and they can't focus. Can you believe it? Just came over. They got MAGA people all over the place, and they're screaming, we love Trump, and she can't focus. That's okay. Before we begin, big news today is that the Manhattan DA witch hunt against uh, me has been postponed because everyone realizes that there was no case because I did nothing wrong. It's a witch hunt. It's a, an attack by my political opponents in Washington, D.C. Comrade Kamala Harris and radical left <laughs> opponents for purposes of election interference. That's all that was. And it's a case that should have never been brought. Nothing like that has ever really happened in the United States that we know of, at least. And it's strictly third world, Banana Republic stuff. Importantly, the public understands this, and so does every legal scholar, expert, and luminary, including people and just highly respected people like the people in this room are highly respected, like Andy McCarthy, Jonathan Turley, Alan Dershowitz, Mark Levin, Stephen Calabrese, David Rifkin, Greg Jarrett, Katie and Andrew Tchaikovsky. And even from CNN, Eli Honig, I appreciate that, Eli, because he's been, he's been great. They all said it's a case that is not a case, shouldn't even be brought, politics. But I greatly appreciate the words in the letter today from the judge. He said, if necessary, being utilized in the decision because there should be no, if necessary, this case should rightfully be terminated immediately and, uh, as we prepare for the most important election in the history of our country. It's the most important election we've ever had because our country is going bad. With over 377,000 members nationwide, our presidential endorsement process is thorough and inclusive, allowing members in each state to make this selection. Specific questions were posed to both candidates regarding policing in America, and candidate interviews were requested. Our members have spoken, and it is my honor to share with you the overwhelming collective will of our membership. We are honored to have with us today the, few, the former and future president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, and offer him our, our enthusiastic endorsement. During his time in the White House, we had a partner and a leader. Today, Mr. President, we stand with you. We stand with you and we have your back, and we're committed to work tirelessly for your election. That's why I'm so deeply honored to receive the Fraternal Order of Police official endorsement for President of the United States. Thank you all very much in the room. I know you voted on that. Thank you very much. Great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. I want to thank Patrick and every officer here this afternoon. Uh, it's really uh, something I, I will not forget. 373,000. And, you know, Patrick just corrected the teleprompter. <laughs> How did you add the other 4,000 people? <laughs> they want to join so badly because they think we're going to win. Everyone now wants to be no, doing that. Huh? He said he doesn't think he knows. Thank you very much. So... <laughs> To think that numbers like that, I mean, that's a big group. That's the largest group in the country by far, I guess, right? Kamala Harris destroyed San Francisco. She destroyed California. Now she's destroying America. She will destroy this country. She will destroy this country. And now that people are seeing what's going on, nobody knew who the hell she was in all fairness. She was vice president that nobody knew. She shouldn't have been vice president. If you, th you know, they call threat to democracy. She's a threat to democracy. The way they call me, threat. I take a bullet in the head, and I'm a threat. No, no. <laughs> She's a threat to democracy. Think of it. But uh, she didn't get any votes. He got 14 million votes. She got none. Zero. She was the first one out of 22 people to leave. She left the race because she got no support. And now she's running as the Democrat candidate. 
And I say that's a threat to democracy. They're the real threat to democracy. They use that. That's just a standard line. Donald Trump is a threat to democracy because he wants to stop crime. You know? <laughs> These people are very mixed up people. This November, the law abiding citizens of our country are going to tell her, Kamala, you've done a horrible job. You remember The Apprentice? You couldn't be worse, and we're not going to let you do it again. Kamala, you're fired. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs>